it's that time of the year again for family fun, delicious food, and of course, lots of presents. What's the best and worst Christmas gift you've ever got? And would you regift something you got to someone else? Let's find out what Singaporeans have to say. Everyone loves the joy of unwrapping Christmas presents, but sometimes you don't always get what you wish for. The worst Christmas gift is a towel. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that the worst for you? Because I. I choose my own tower, I don't really like, you know, if it's uh, received as a gift, like, it's a bit personal. I think I got a dice. Don't know who it's from. <laughs> Probably a Christmas present. I see. Got a cooking book as well, which uh, I don't cook. And I was given a cooking book by my workmates for Christmas. Some kiddish stationery or cup set that I think, like, I mean, you're too old to use it sometimes. It's like a small little mini spoon and fork. <laughs> Yeah, no idea. Okay. But yeah, you didn't really like that. No. <laughs> I do treasure what they give me, but I think probably don't give me chocolate. Lah. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't come from the heart. Lah. It's like chocolate you just get from Watson's or something like that. Lah. Last minute type of gift. Last minute type of gift that such as, such as, they just buy, they know that it's Christmas, they ought to be actually give you a pre-made appointment. Okay, let's say with a few of us, but he forgot and last minute he went to some shops and buy any anyone gift. Singaporeans are unanimous in their loathing of presents in which little thought has been given. On the other hand, when presents have been carefully chosen, the recipients are often overjoyed. What's the best Christmas gift you've ever had? A boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> so you met that your boyfriend before Christmas or, or uh, one of the Christmases? Christmases overseas. Best Christmas gift? Probably like perfumes, I always get perfume for any occasion, so yeah. Why, why is that? You, you like I perfume? love perfume. And shoes. <laughs> yeah? You got these shoes for Christmas? Yep. Like, advanced Christmas gift. Oh, just this year for this Christmas, yeah, is for it? This year. Who, who gave it to you? My girlfriend. Oh, Christmas cake. Yeah? <laughs> who, who gave you the Christmas cake? Oh, our parents. Parents. Yeah. Why, why was that the best Christmas gift you've ever had? Because it's nice to eat. For me, it's a simple uh, name card holder. Uh, that's something that she bought for me about 15 years ago. So, so you still keep it? I still keep it. Still keep it. Why is it so meaningful and special? I think it's the first Christmas gift that she gave to me. So that's why uh, it's still meaningful to me, la, even after 15 years. La. I guess it's the bag that she bought, he bought for me. Yeah, it's the cheese bag. Wow. Yeah. I didn't ask for him, but it's quite a big surprise for me. For Christmas, the best gift I got is from my wife, my newly wedded wife. Um, she gave me a really nice practice amp to practice guitar. So a Roland amp, so that was my best Christmas present ever. A wallet or a nice dinner. A nice dinner at um, very like sky dinner, sky dining, that type of stuff. Uh, who gave yeah. you that Christmas tree? Uh, I'll say one would be my friend, the other would be an ex-boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, so yeah. what type of Christmas gifts would you, do you like to receive like, that would make you really happy? I'd like to receive um, something meaningful. Something meaningful that can make me remember the person. Finding the right gift for the right person can be a challenging task. According to a survey conducted by Fairleigh Dickinson University, 4 in 10 people in New Jersey, USA are guilty of re-gifting, which means recycling an unwanted gift. The majority of those surveyed said they do it occasionally, while 8% said they do it regularly. What do Singaporeans think of such a practice? Have you ever sort of re-gifted, like someone gave you something you didn't like and then you, you gave it to I someone? I don't like to recycle gift. <laughs> I think it's very cruel. No, that is bad. That's a big no-no. Like, I wouldn't do that and I wouldn't want someone else to do that to me. It should be okay. It should be okay because some things, if you don't give it correct, it may be bad that you give it to other people. But if you just keep it there and you don't, it becomes obsolete. So why not you give it to someone who may like it? Like yep, that. I gave it to my sister. <laughs> so you've re-gifted before? Yeah. Could if it's something, something I may not use but it's still very nice, then I'll just pass on to other people. I think it's a bad idea actually. Uh, if I want to give it to someone, I won't give it as a gift. I said, if there's something that I have, would you want to have it? But um, usually, I, I don't think I've ever given any gift which someone gave to me and I pass it to someone else. No. Whatever the gift, at the end of the day, it's the thought that counts. Hi, Merry Christmas to everyone. Everybody will stay healthy and happy and have a good Christmas and New Year. Yeah, have a wonderful New Year. Mm. Let's hope that Singapore's economy continues to grow, uh, peace on earth and everybody uh, is happy. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.